Like, oh, that's a good point. Yeah. I'm like we're going to do it anyway for fun then. <laughs> like it just became one of those things where realistically we didn't need to do that. Um, right. In fact, at that point, the plan our base waves benefit is something else, which is that you get the same SPL over the whole room instead of having the fall off you typically would get. Um, Are you talking but about in terms uh, of double base arrays? I'm well, it, it kind of is a double base array. Yeah. And if you have a planar wave, you know, you don't get the 3 dB or 6 dB loss over distance. There's no loss. So planar right. wave is the same le SPL level at every seat. Yeah. And there's benefits in rooms that large to doing that because now we don't have to go quite as overkill on the subs to make sure we're getting the right SPL levels in the back of the room. I mean, this was big enough that when I say not overkill, I think it was still an array of 21 inch subs. They were pretty big, but yeah. Um, but anyway, the point is like, we're not worried about the fact that the back seat is 50 feet from the sub and the front seat is only, let's say 12 feet from the sub, something like that. Yeah. Um, anyway, but the, the point is, I think you're right. Like sometimes you forget and in these spaces I'm thinking of in some of the newer, bigger homes, it's not uncommon for that room to be 60 feet long or wide, let's say, and 25, 30 feet deep. And maybe it's got 15 foot ceilings. And at that point, the modal issues may look a lot different. Probably that size such that there's still some modes, but maybe not enough to really be that concerned about getting subs in corners right. or midpoints or any of that. 